What's up everyone, it's Kevin from Mathers on the Map and today is another van build episode or you can call it a van life episode and we are talking about vehicle maintenance on the Mercedes Sprinter van. Today we're going to be doing the service A after the first 20,000 miles and we are doing it on a four cylinder 2015 Mercedes Sprinter van. So let's go take a look at what we need to complete the service A and let's get started. All right, so for this project, we're doing two main things. The first one is an oil change and replacing the oil filter. And the second one is replacing the fuel filter in the vehicle. So we have the parts by Mercedes, the OEM parts. Here's the oil filter and the fuel filter. And again, this is for a four cylinder vehicle. And and we could also replace the DEF fluid, but I've already done that uh, about a thousand or two miles ago. So I'm gonna hold off on that today, but I'll be monitoring that probably in another 5,000 miles. What you need to make this happen is obviously the fuel filter, the oil filter, an oil drain pan. You'll need a 13 millimeter socket, needle nose pliers, two backup hose clamps in case you break them on the fuel filter, an oil, fil an oil filter wrench, a rag, a hook and scraper set to get some clips to unclip uh, some of the brackets, paper towels, and of course your oil. Now we're using special oil for this vehicle, which is Mobile One ESP, which is Emission System Protection, and W or 5W30. So the first thing we're going to start with is the fuel filter. So I'm going to pop the hood and get started on that. Okay, so from the top of the engine, the oil filter is right down there. And the fuel filter is underneath this housing. So I have to take this off to be able to get to our fuel filter down below. And so the first thing I'm doing is taking off this clip here. Turn this to the side. Next I'm removing these two clips. Alright, now I gotta take this off. And this clip here, super easy. Then I need to take this off. There we go. And I just need to pry this, pop this out. One, two. Oh, really easy. All right, now I gotta take this off and I gotta be careful that I don't break it. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. You want to make sure you get your hands as close to these as possible so you don't break it. So now that we have this removed, here's the fuel filter right here. Let me grab it. Here's the fuel filter for the 2015 four cylinder. It's got two clips for hoses and then it's got the water exhaust drain, I believe. So I'll set this down right here and we'll get this hooked up. All right, so I'm just making a mental picture of how this is wired. So the, the drain goes underneath here, wraps it around and connects to here. This is the first thing that I'm gonna remove and then I'm gonna remove these two clips. So 
So you just pull out the rubber hose right here, really easy, right there. And then I'm just gonna unclip this. Here. And this is going to get tucked and fed through here. Actually, let me unclip that first. So this has two clips. It doesn't need to, I guess. But it clips here and to here. And I have two clips right here. These two clips. And then these two. There we go. So you just, <clears throat> to unclip these hooks, you just twist it like that. That was one, let's see if I can get two. All right, yeah, that's the technique. So you just twist it. Get it in and twist. So now that these two are done, I'm gonna try. All right, so I've been fighting to get these hose off. Hose is off, there's one. Let's get my rag. Let's get the second one off. Okay, there's two. So you don't need these hose clamps if you don't break them, or extra ones, but just in case if you break them, you don't want to be not doing the job because you're waiting on clips. So that was my approach. I gotta get this off. And this is a clip. All right. There we go. And here comes the fuel filter. Oh, nope, I need to do these two clips. One. There's two. Nice and easy. Fuel filter's gone. So again, just wiping down all the extra fuel area, or any of the fuel that came off. And now I'm gonna put, connect my new fuel filter. All right. So this goes around this, tucked underneath through here, one of there, and this goes right there. right there let's get this one back on okay now I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and attach these two and I can clip this back on one two so now this is good to go I just need to clip these back on them back into place here. All right, here are my needle nose. Hopefully you guys can see this. Just trying to line it up better. There it is. All right, that's one. All right, so both of these are on really tight and the fuel filter is done and replaced. Now it's time to drain the oil, so I'll get the pan ready. Unhook that. This is a 16 quart capacity. And we have 12 quarts going in here, so you make sure you have a pan that's big enough. And underneath the vehicle is the oil tank. And that's a 13 mil uh, bolt right there. 
Pro tip, use some leverage here. It's much easier. Make sure you're applying pressure as you untwist this, where oil will start to leak everywhere. All right, next up is the fuel filter, which is down there. And I'm gonna use my oil filter wrench to get it off. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm just gonna use the extension here. This is a 3 8 Pretty much off now. I got my rag and my bag. I'm gonna put the oil filter right in the bag so it doesn't leak. Once I grab this off. Okay, got this out. Okay, so here's the fuel filter. what the actual filter looks like and then there's three gaskets one here one here and one here and I'm gonna need to get a really small flathead screwdriver for this all right so I got an itty bitty flathead and I have my oil filter here and I'm just gonna pry off the rubber gaskets and my OEM fuel filter comes with gaskets so you want to make sure you get the Mercedes one because it comes with the three gaskets for the fuel filter. The smallest one goes all the way on the top, mid-size right here, biggest one around the threads of the filter. Also, make sure you remember exactly where the ring gaskets are on the oil filter. I made the mistake and put the big ring gasket in the wrong position. And as you can see, when I went on my first test drive, I was leaking oil out of the oil filter. So learn from my mistakes, remember exactly where it is, and you'll be fine. Luckily, I caught this early. I loosened up the oil filter, put the gasket in the right spot, and everything was good to go, and the engine's running great. Two, and the big kahuna, number three. All right, now the three new gaskets. I'm just gonna rub oil all around it. Give it a better seal. Get some old oil from the fuel filter and just rub the entire thing around. We're good. Gaskets are on. Next I'm taking the new filter, sliding it down. And voila, ready to roll. Okay, now I'm putting the new oil filter in. I wedge it in there, it's a tight squeeze. There we go. Perfect. Definitely need this. Now we'll go check the oil, make sure nothing's leaking. Looks like there's just drips, so we'll put the bolt back in. Don't forget the washer right there, and we'll seal this up. All right, so now I got 12 quarts. Again, I'm using ESP 5W30. Look at your manual. Your vehicle might be rated for something different, likely 0W30 or 5W30, and you wanna get this ESP emission system protection. Mercedes has a website that tells you what is an approved oil for the vehicle. So let's get this in right now. I don't want to use my existing 
uh, funnel. I should have bought a new one because it has some residue in it. It's a little dirty. So right now I'm just going to try and do it by hand. I don't recommend this. I recommend getting a uh, funnel. But let's see how it goes for the first couple. So here's one quart. We got 12 to go, or 11 to go after this one. All right, so this is the 12th quart. I'm only gonna do half of it, and then I'm gonna test the depth, or how much uh, oil I got before I pour all 12 in, because I don't wanna have too much oil in the vehicle. Put the lid back on here. So what I need to do is connect a couple cables and then I'm just gonna turn the ignition on three times, let fuel get pumped into the fuel filter, and then we'll check our oil level gauge and we'll see if we're good to go to put the rest of this, the half uh, cord in. So let me go connect everything. So this is just temporary and I'm plugging it in because I don't want to get trouble codes. All right, so now I wanna wait at least a minute, I believe, before I unclip these electrical clips because the engine will trigger a trouble code or something like that. I might even wait a good three minutes before I take these two clips off. So just consider that. All right, now I'm checking the oil. Okay, looks like I can, I'm going to have to top it off. Put the remaining oil in. Alright, now I'm going to unclip these again and see if the fuel filter is leaking. Alright, no leaks, we're good. Let's put everything back together. Alright, this goes on the lid here. And there's just four spots. Can I just push them on? All right. This goes in here. Pop, pop. This goes back on to here. Sorry if I just got in the way there. This clip. Voila. You don't have to change this until 60 miles, 60,000 I mean, but I'm gonna take it out and shake out all the nasty stuff. All right, back in, we're ready to roll. All right, so I'm gonna try and get the service reset. So I read to just hold zero until you hear a beep. Nine, 10, 11, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna hit the menu button. Go to reset the service icon. I'm gonna hold the zero button again until two comes up. I'm gonna hit it once. It says not done. So let's hope it works. All right. We're done. All right, guys. So that wraps up this van build episode on doing your service. Service A on a 2015 four-cylinder Mercedes Sprinter van. I am not a certified mechanic, but you can do this as a DIY and save yourself some good chunk of change.
instead of going to the dealer. I think this cost me all the oil and parts included and the tools that are a one-time buy, this little uh, clip tool, whatever you want to call it, uh, in total was about $210, I think, maybe $250. Uh, but I think if you go to the dealership, it's going to be a lot more. So if you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more van build content, more van life content, then consider subscribing. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.